Hey guys, Avery here, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to optimize your Collato blog post for SEO, which is search engine optimization, just by using desirable keywords that will get your blog post and your blog in general as higher as possible on Google search results pages, okay? Now, as you can see, I'm on my Collato blogging system, and I just finished my blog post, which in this case is a video content that talks about uh, the possibility of getting your YouTube videos on the first page of YouTube, YouTube search results in order of course to uh, to get traffic and leads and in general expose your uh, content to thousands of people that are searching for answers on how to get ranked as higher as possible and as quickly as possible on YouTube. Now as you can see um, I've already edited my blog post, which uh, which doesn't have a lot of text except from the uh, uh, the subtitle subtitle and the call to action text right here, because the main content here is this video itself, right? So what I'm going to focus now is getting this blog post as optimized as possible for search engine optimization, and we're gonna do it the right way, okay? Now, uh, this is the part where we're going to engage the most with in this video, uh, the SEO optimization setup, okay? Now, by the way, this call to action drop down that you see above is just a long list of banners that, uh, you know, you can, act, that you can select to be placed automatically on the bottom of each and every single post uh, that you're creating, okay? Like, uh, let me show you an example, uh, like this one, for instance, okay? Alright, now um, let's go back to our Collato SEO setup. Now, uh, usually people love to use, uh, you know, the Google Keywords Planner tool of which you can find the most desirable keywords and the phrases that are searched the most on every single month by people around the world. But I'm going to show you an easier way uh, to search for common phrases and keywords that are searched by millions of people around the world just by using Google, Google search engine, okay? It's very simple. Uh, now, let's go to uh, Google search engine box and type some, you know, keywords and phrases that are relevant to what this blog post slash content video is all about. So, in our case, if we're talking about how to get your video on the first page of YouTube, as you can see, then we may want to use some long-tailed keywords, relevant keywords, now, in order to find out, uh, you know, what are the best keywords for either the title for this blog post or, you know, the keywords of this uh, blog post in general, uh, we're going to have to use quotation marks on our keywords while checking some, you know, possible keywords in the search engine box. But, you know, under, you know, but there's uh, only one condition in order to do this. Um, a, po a possible relevant keywords must have between 3,500 search results to a maximum of 16,000 search results. Okay. Now, since I want to, you know, to keep this video as short as possible and get you understand the idea of how the of how to use this simple Google search engine, uh, I already have a pre-written uh, keywords that I looked for before recording this video. And I found some, uh, you know, possible keywords that can be used to optimize uh, this blog post. Now, so the whole idea here is, you know, searching for keywords that have the same uh, meaning, only with different phrases and and, uh, and words. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, uh, a phrase, and let me just copy and paste it how to rank high on YouTube, okay, using quotation marks, remember? Now let's click here, and as you can see, it has around 4,000 search results, which means this exact keyword is being, is being searched by people a lot, and there's a high demand around this phrase. But you can still beat the competition if it has only 4,000 uh, search, uh, search results, and get on the first page of Google, or YouTube, uh, no matter what. Now, these keywords, for instance, can be used as a title, which in this case I'm just gonna copy. Uh, I'm just gonna copy it here and and paste it into this box, into into this title box. In addition, I'm gonna put it here um, as the SEO title, right? Which means this title will appear on Google search result, 
and of course you know you must include this phrase in the general SEO keywords okay now the SEO keywords is very important because it will allow you it will allow your blog post per se to be on the first page of Google by using other keywords and, uh, and uh, phrases relevant phrases of course even if they are not used you know as a title in specific okay now what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna find some you know more relevant phrases that has three uh, 3,500 uh, search results and more, uh, you know, uh, with high demand. Okay, so I'm just going to put how to rank higher on YouTube. Okay, I've put higher instead of high. Okay, now let's see the, the results. Well, this one is a bit less search result but it, than the previous one, of course, but it has only 3,500 search results. So I'm just going to put it here in the SEO keywords. All right, now let's uh, look for other phrases. As I'm going, I'm just going to type um, "rank rank on the first page of YouTube." Okay. Of course, it has the same meaning, only the phrase is uh, is a bit different, right? So. Well, this one has around uh, 11,000 search results, which is still a good phrase to be copied and pasted in our SEO keywords. Now, let's try another one before I wrap it up. I'm going to choose something like how to get your video on the first page of YouTube. Now uh, let's check. Let's check this out. All right, there are almost three thousand five hundred search results for this phrase in specific. So again, I'm gonna copy and paste it in the SEO keywords. Okay, of course, don't don't put more than you know five or six phrases in the SEO keywords because we must, you know, uh, we we must focus on very specific keywords and phrases. So Google will recognize what this blog post is all about. Okay, all right. Uh, so in this SEO description, as you can see below, you can actually copy and paste uh, the subtitle, okay, uh, which describes what this blog post is all about. So I'm just going to copy a portion of the subtitle. We don't need all the subtitle for that matter. All right. Uh, make sure the description will include, you know, one phrase or one or two keywords, but no more than that, okay? Because we must keep we must keep it natural because you know Google know exactly you know when uh, when it's a high quality content or just you know a blog post that's stuffed with excessive use of keywords or uh, redundant phrases okay now lastly I would like to point out that you can use uh, the very same techniques that I've been showing you okay on YouTube search engine as well okay because you know YouTube is synchronized with Google and given the fact that YouTube is one of Google's tools and associated with Google with Google search results algorithm okay now I, I forgot to mention that if you don't have any idea for keywords you can easily copy the title of the of other search results that appears on the first page of Google so you can get an idea of what works and what doesn't okay as you can use your competition's title only make sure of course to change one or two words and specify based on what you can offer that your competitions cannot okay anyway thanks a lot for uh, watching this video hope you get value from this and of course i'll see you next time goodbye